Uh, g'day, I'm Ryan Hughes. I work as an ecologist for Four Elements Consulting. Uh, today I'm out at Mount Emerald Wind Farm. We're conducting uh, clearances for the northern quoll. We currently have 30 female quolls that we're tracking throughout the site and we're just conducting clearances at each works area to make sure they're out of harm's way before works can commence. My name's Amanda Hancock from Sadler Springs Education Centre and I've been contracted to come here to help detect the northern quoll using wildlife detection dog methodology. So I'm an ecologist and a wildlife detection dog specialist. I've been doing it for seven years, training and handling wildlife detection dogs, specifically for quoll but I've also helped others train their dogs and handlers for other species. The quoll dogs basically, <clears throat> we work before the clearing so every morning we'll search an area where they want to clear and we'll make sure there's no quolls in that clearing impact zone. Uh, since we've been at Mount Emerald Wind Farm, we've helped save a number of quolls and now that there's juveniles moving around, the dogs are the only method that will find them. Uh, the dogs are also the only method that will find any of the uncollared quolls. So they scan for collared quolls, radio collaring, um, but some of, sometimes that doesn't work. Uh, sometimes collars can fall off or technology can stop working and the dogs are the backup in that case as well. My name is David. I'm a fauna spotter catcher here on site at Mount Emerald. Part of my job is to identify habitat and uh, find any of our critters that we need to remove out of harm's way as we're clearing. This one here is a, a coastal carpet snake. Uh, unfortunately we've found numerous of these culprits with radio track and collars in their belly. They seem to have a taste for the northern quoll but I suppose that's all part of nature and the cycle up here. Hey y'all, my name is Jade Coast. I work for Four Elements Consulting as an ecologist and fauna spotter. I'm working up at Mount Emerald Wind Farm, doing trapping and collaring of northern quoll. I'm also running camera monitoring programs for females and their denning habits. Um, as well as pest monitoring on site, kind of figure out what we've got on site in terms of dogs and pigs and figure out ways we can control that and mitigate the damage going on on site. Here we are in the nursery. These are seedlings that are from rare and threatened species that have been collected across the site and these will be placed back into the site into a, and around turbine areas so that we can regenerate the site once the wind farm's been finished. We have a lot of translocation success with species such as this, like Tranthus aminus, across the site. Uh, this species is uh, within rocky outcrops. Okay, so we're just potting up some Alocasurina littoralis, which is a key uh, tree species up on Mount Emerald. So we've collected some seed from on site uh, when it was when it was fruiting and we've germinated them in the nursery and now they've gotten big enough we're just potting them out into larger pots so that we can grow them up and put them back out on site to recover any of the disturbed areas on site part of the rehabilitation plan <laughs> 